from Lime Online bringing you all of this week's news and sport from the Lime Regis area. A major clean-up operation got underway yesterday after flooding across the Lime Regis area on Wednesday night. During an evening of torrential rain, the River Lim burst its banks in the Jericho and Jordan areas of Lime Regis, with the fast-flowing water sweeping away wooden benches and footbridges. Town Council staff were out early on Thursday morning to, cl to clear as much of the debris as possible. Flood volunteers carried out much of the clean-up work in Upline, where the river also burst its banks, flooding the main road through the village, as well as the village hall car park, adjacent lanes and the Venn Lake football pitch. Fire crews were called after a fallen tree took out electrical cables in Upline, causing sparks and smoke to set off a fire alarm in one of the affected properties. Crews were out until the early hours of Thursday morning, attending flooding incidents across the region, including in Charmouth, where the River Char overflowed with water spilling into some houses. Upline is set to lose its post office in the new year, with the future of the village's garage and shop also under threat. The post office, which is based at the petrol station, will cease to operate when the postmaster's current lease comes to an end on January 14th. Owner Dave Osler has impl also implied that the entire garage and village shop are at risk of closing down. Mr Osler has warned for some time the proposed changes to Upline Road to provide access for a new primary school could pose health and safety risks at the garage and affect the long-term viability of his business. He has now confirmed that the post, of post office will close in early 2022 and said the entire facility could be shut down. Upline Parish Council objected to plans for the new primary school due to concerns over the access and parking arrangements of Upline Road, but planning permission was granted in October 2020. The council is now looking into possible solutions to ensure a post office service is retained in the village. Legendary R&B star Gino Washington was taken ill while on stage at the Marine Theatre in Lyme Regis last Saturday night. The singer, aged 77, who first rose to fame in the 1960s, was said to be suffering from exhaustion. He had to stop midway through his gig with the Ram Jam Band and was taken away in an ambulance. The Marine Theatre released a statement saying it was an upsetting experience for everyone, but Gino was now making a full recovery. The singer has promised to return to Lyme Regis when he is back to full health. Lyme Regis Town Council has got its finances back on track following the coronavirus pandemic and is expected to have at least 1.2 million in the bank by the end of the financial year. The town clerk's latest report on the authority's budget performance was a far cry from that reported in spring 2020, when members were told that the pandemic was wiping out their reserves. Following what was thought to be the town's busiest ever summer, the council has seen a complete turnaround in its financial forecast, thanks largely to an increase in car parking income. Members have now been told that they should have enough in the bank at the end of the financial year to boost reserves back to a healthy level, to continue with agreed upon projects such as the Guildhall refurbishment and new railings on the seafront, and to pay back an outstanding loan to Dorset Council. With the first team having a free Saturday, Spotlight turned on Lyme Ridges Football Club's reserve side after they suffered a surprise heavy defeat the previous week against Devon and Exeter Division 3 mid-tablers St Martins. The Seasiders' second string had fielded a weakened side, with manager Matt Priest having to go and goal to make up the numbers. But they bounced back on Saturday with a brilliant 7-0 victory at home to Pinho, the highlight of the game being the performance of 17-year-old Josh Danes, who scored five of the goals. The Bridport youngster, who has family ties with the Lime Club, is one of the most promising prospects to play for the Seasiders for a long time. The victory saw the reserves move into third place in the division on equal points with second placed West X Park Rangers. The table is led by Devon Yeoman and Lyme remain the only club to beat the two leaders this season. Tomorrow, the reserves are away to mid-tablers Heavertree United. The first team return to action at the Daily Fort against Thorverton, who are second in the Premier Division. Julian Simier's men will need to win all three points to stay in touch with the three sides above them in the top division and he'll be looking for a better defensive performance, having given away some soft goals in recent games. The kickoff is at 3pm. Upline continued to impress in their first season in Devon and Exeter football with a 3-0 win over the previously unbeaten University of Exeter 7th 11, a victory which included a wonder goal from former Lyme player Cody Bowditch and keeps them in fourth place in Division 6. And Charlotte's brilliant return to Perry Street football continued with their fifth victory in succession, winning 6-1 at home to Donyak United, 
which kept them at the top of the Perry Street Division 2. After fundraising for the past three years, Lime Reaches Gig Club has fitted its boat daring with a sail and members tried it out for the first time in perfect conditions earlier this month. Sailing and rowing daring opens new opportunities for gig club members to learn seafaring skills, as well as keeping the southwest tradition of gig rowing and sailing alive. Events this weekend will include a coffee morning in aid of Cancer Research UK, this morning at Lime Ridges Baptist Church, and comedy from Jeff Norcott at the Marine Theatre tonight. There will be live music at the Mags Head on Saturday and acoustic sets in the Marine Theatre on Sunday afternoon, followed by the monthly Lime Ridges Comedy Club. Sunny intervals are forecast today, but the weather is set to worsen throughout the weekend, with cloud on Saturday, light showers on Sunday and highs of 14 degrees. And finally, you may think it's too early to mention Christmas, but there is less than six weeks to go until Lime Regis switches on its renowned festive illuminations. The Christmas lights are set to be switched on on Saturday, November 27th, with plans for a full afternoon of family events. The Lime Regis Christmas Lights Committee is now making a final push to cover the costs of this year's display with their annual grand raffle. A total of £600 in cash prizes is up for grabs, along with local restaurant vouchers. Tickets cost just £1 each and are available at the Slipway or via the website shown on screen now. Thanks for watching Lime Online's video news bulletins. Don't forget you can catch up with all the latest local news throughout the week on the Lime Online website and you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to make sure you never miss a thing. Have a great weekend.